Hey everybody, welcome to Friendship Shaving for a fantastic Gifts of Friendship video today. I have a box on my lap. And it was very kindly sent by Mark Davis from Melbourne in the USA. I didn't know there was a Melbourne in the United States of America. So that was very interesting. Mark has had a clear out of his den and he sent me lots of items that I can use on the channel. And Mark, thank you very much indeed for your kindness. Uh, I know I'll be able to make lots of good content with the items you've put in this box. I'm looking forward to sharing them with the guys now. Really fantastic. Thank you so much. Got a letter. I will read that myself later. Mark was kind enough to pay the postage and everything. Let me tell you guys, that was no small amount. This is a heavy box. Very generous indeed. So, should we get, should we get going? So the first thing I'm going to pick out is a lovely little straight razor, Heinrich Booker and Company from Solingen, Germany. And this looks to be in very nice condition indeed. So a little, there's a little Booker insignia on the razor. There we are, Shave Nation. It's one of Geo Fatboy's razors. Uh, very nice razor. I will look forward to using that. And uh, for you guys that like a straight razor shave, I've, I've missed that this month. Uh, my apologies for that. It will, uh, we'll get that back on track in the next month. I do like having a monthly straight razor video, so we will definitely get back to that. Okay, so we've got what look like a couple of razorines. Now I've never shaved with one of these. Got no idea what they're like. Now this is a brass one, it has the big screw on the back that uh, allows it to come apart. But the nice thing about this is you can just swap hands and that screw stays on the outside of your face. This is quite heavy, let's see what the other one is. Oh here we go, a little uh, Chrome-plated version. Very nice. Well, I should try those because, as I said, I have never shaved with a Razorine. So they will be very interesting. We have a strop for we have a strop for the straight razor. It's a little cut out of it there. I wonder if I can just sand that back a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that just needs a little sand down. Very nice strop. Some green paste on the back there. A lovely strop actually. Good quality. That's terrific. I will. Um, I will go and hang that up in a minute and see. Once it's hung, that little that little bend in it there will come out. So we will do that very shortly. That's a lovely strop, Mark. Thank you. We have what's this? Ha! We have some Astro Blades. That's a little bit ironic and you will see from this Friday's video if you watched it why. 
Uh, nice plate. Great plates. We've got It's a nice case, isn't it? Ah! We have the chrome version of the Supply Professional. Now I have the black version and actually just looking at this, I prefer this because I can see the numbers and I can't on my black version. So uh, that is great and it's got the little, the little rubberized sleeve there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I think I will keep mine for a giveaway. That would be rather nice. That's lovely, that case. We've got two brushes. And they are, they are big brushes. They're, they're a little big for me. This one is a, what's this? DS Cosmetic. That's a big boy. And this one in here, oh, it's an Amiga Boar. That's a big boy too. Very nice. Nice pattern on that one. Lovely. Oh, here's a stand for that supply. There we go, that's, that's terrific. We've got a little Allen block, always useful. And a little um, Shave Nation blade bank there for used blades. Here we go. A leaf. Oh, what a nice case. Nice little clip. Oh, there we go. That's, that's nice. That's a lovely colour. Nice razor, the leaf razor. Very nice indeed. I love the way it... I love the way it unscrews like that. Very reminiscent of a, of a really old razor, but it's, it's clever. I like it. Um, this one has got a stand to go with it. That works great. That looks good. Um, so again, I have one of these. I have this one. I don't have the stand, so that will be very handy. And uh, I certainly don't have this box. Now that is really cool with this sort of, um, again, a rubberized material in the bottom there to keep everything in place. Terrific. Put that out. I'm going to have stuff all over there now. What's this in here? Um, just going to reach for some scissors. A razor and brush stand and this one is made by Triton in Chicago USA made in the USA looks to be stainless steel that's nice proper good quality that is not quite that big uh, yeah lovely and we've got, and this is great, this is actually great. 
This is the Perry Era shavery, shaving bowl. Now, I have one of these, but mine is a white one. And you don't often see it on camera, because when I hold it up to the camera, because it's white, the, the, the picture seems to white out, uh, you know, the, the camera reacts to it. So this will be great for me to use on the channel. And uh, it means that I can, again, give mine away. This is terrific. Because it's a brilliant bowl, guys. It's nice and deep. It's nice and wide. Um, I just think it's fantastic. So that is really great. Um, yeah, it's got, it's sort of, um, it's got ridges in it. You know, it's not completely smooth. Really a brilliant bowl. That's lovely. That's terrific that it's brown and I can use that. That's wonderful. Ah, oh, excuse me guys, just had to have something to drink. Diet Coke with lime I've got today. I like that a lot. So, okay, we've got something else in wrap here. This looks like it's ceramic. from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Phoenix Shaving. It's very nice. Presumably they're shaving bowls. Are they? There's not a lot of room in the bottom there. Perhaps they're just meant to be used like that. I don't know. I don't know what this is, guys. It seems a bit small to put your puck in and a bit small to get, you know, a good lather on your brush. It's not like this one where you can really, that brush smells nice. I'll have to look that up guys, I don't know what to do with this. It's very well made though, it's lovely. No, I don't think it goes like that. It definitely goes like this. Oh, is it a... Um, you fill that with hot water. So you get a hot lather. Maybe, but there's not a lot of room in there. Interesting. Very interesting, that. I'm not quite sure what it is, but we will double check that to see... Um, okay, ah, fine accoutrements, we've got a nice little case for a razor. Oh, here we are, there is Geo himself, this is, um, this is a green bar for aiding you in stropping your straight razor. So, uh, yeah, that would be great. That would be absolutely great. That was obviously what was on the back side of that. Strop titanium dioxide, it is. Um, now,
we've got a bag full of what look to be chauvettes. And I have not had much experience with Chauvettes, the type that take a blade or part of a DE safety blade. So this will be interesting. This is a, a Focus. This is aluminium one. Very interesting. Um, oh, I see. Right, you unclip it, you clip the blade in. That seems quite straightforward. We have a stainless steel one. Which is maybe Parker? Yeah, Parker. Very nice. I'm not sure shaver to my thing. But, and this is what's great, I will be able to do um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 weeks of videos focusing on Chevettes at least, to, you know, to give them a proper go. Now this looks very much like my Chevette, and I do like mine, so one assumes this will be Similar doesn't feel exactly the same, but uh, there we go. That's that's a better better grip. That'll be very nice. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'll have to try and find out what what they all are and where they're from first. This looks a nice one. Again, this looks like takes a feather blade, this one, I'm sure. Now that feels quite nice in the hand, actually. Very nice. Okay, we'll try, try all of these. Well, this one's got a nice, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's got gold speckles in the handle. Oh, this is a weck. Okay, I'm going to have to get some Weck blades. Oh yes, yeah, it's got Weck written in the handle. Now this is going to be interesting. It's actually a hair shaper. And the blade slides in. I've seen a few people use these. Nice one. That'll be really interesting. Wow. Razio down. I have used one of these. I, I know which one this is. That plastic, very lightweight. Can you now? This is the one the screw gets in the way on this one. Unless I'm just totally not using it correctly when I used it last. Um, I got a very aggressive shave off that, I seem to remember. I'll have to, I'll have to try and work out if there's a way to shave with this without having that screw against your face. Because um, that throws it right out. Perhaps there's a way of doing it, but I haven't. Sussed. We've got what's this one here? Um, oh, this is made in Germany. Oh, I don't know what these are. I I haven't got a clue what these are, but perhaps that one is meant to protect the blade. I don't know. What do you reckon guys? I haven't got a clue about these two. 
unless they're just for storing your old blades, but then why would it have a guard on it? Oh, there's more. An idiot I am. This is uh, an another nice looking shavette, he says, trying to work out which way around it goes. There we go, like that. Ah, got it. So you obviously put the blade in here and slide it in. Got it. Got it, guys. These will make a couple of months worth of great videos. Mark, thank you. Just thank you very much. Awesome. Just awesome. We'll put that down there. And we've got a lovely feather. I used to have one of these. Uh, and I gave it away and I got... I've got my version of that one there. I've started to get brilliant shapes. So it'll be interesting to use this and see whether my technique has improved and I get better shaves with the feather Kamasura style shave at. Very nice in the hand that. My brother-in-law, who's one of those one of these fellows that has a beard. It calls that a razor blade on a stick, and uh, <laughs> I guess he's not far wrong, is he? Found some fantastic shavettes there. Wonderful. Put them down there. Okay, we've got a pile of blades. We've got some leaf blades, some gem blades some feather professional and feather soft guard i like the pinks the soft the feather soft guard i like those ah brilliant oh what are they for i wonder if they're for the weck well some razor blades absolutely brilliant and We have this. Now. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Right, are you ready? I'm going to have to stand up. We have one or two razors. Now here, first one I can see, that's the gentle razor that I was using on the den the other week. I borrowed it and do you know what? That's a really nice razor made in Germany by four What's the name? Forstoft and anyway, made in Germany. Geisen and Forstoft. Very nice razor. We've got a some kind of razor rock razor. What is that? Not sure what that is, guys. 
lovely titanium handle there by the looks of it. We've got a beautiful We've got a beautiful little gelate razor here, very, very nice condition. A little flare tip razor. Now I, I have quite a few of these, so at some point I will put that up for a giveaway, but that is a lovely razor. That's in very nice condition. We've got a little what looks like a gem or an ever ready 1912 beautiful it is an ever ready is this American or British made in the USA made in the USA I wonder how that compares to the made in Britain I don't think I've seen an ever ready 1912 made in the USA is it a 1912? Let me just check that. Yeah, it is. That's interesting. Beautiful razor. Without doubt, one of my favourite razors, the Ever Ready 1912. Fantastic. We've, I know what this is. We've got a Goodwill. A long combed goodwill made in the USA. These are beautiful shavers. These 1930s goodwills uh, were to promote Gillette's newest blades. And uh, you know, buy a pack of Gillette blades and get a goodwill razor for free. And um, this is what they were given away when you bought a pack of blades in 1931. Um, that's been replated and it's absolutely stunning. Stunning. Beautiful razor. We've got a gold McCur 34C. No, 34G gold. Wonderful. Beautiful razor. Uh, what's it? Is this a hawk? I can't remember. I have shaved with one of these. Oh, I didn't know that came off the bottom. Oh, is that how it comes apart? Yeah, it must be. No, it comes apart that way. Oh, that's interesting. A uh, beautiful green one there. Aluminium razor. We also got. A Moola with a massive chunky handle and this is their, uh, their R41 with a big handle. We're going to call it the R41 Big Boy because the name escapes me. This is nice. Oh, that fits so well. German engineering. Simple things done well. Okay, here we go. Look, we've got another leaf. This looks like a, a, a bronze leaf. Gosh, that's bright and lovely, isn't it? And tucked in there. And with that, we've got a little... What's this? Is this a feather? This might be the Feather Popular. It could be, guys, a Feather Popular. Ah, Feather. Yeah, I think that's a Feather Popular. I can't remember if I've had a shave with one of these or not. I may have borrowed one a long time ago. Don't know, guys, I've got some fantastic content here. With all of this stuff. This is going to keep me going. For most of next year I imagine. Look at this. What's this? I'll tell you what this is. That's a fatigue. I can tell by the finish. The feel of it. That surely is a fatigue. It is as well. 
Now, now that's a nice handle, look at that, a fatip slant. And I have not shaved with one of these. Oh, that's nice. That's looking really nice. Look forward to that. <laughs> What's this? Look at this. Look at that handle. I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's short and fat. And heavy. It is heavy. Uh, it's definitely uh, a handle heavy razor from Shave Nation. It looks like a, a, a Moolah head, that type of thing, a DE89 type head with, <laughs> with this brilliant handle. Do you know why it doesn't feel too bad? It's really heavy. I look forward to having a try with that one. Awesome. Um, we've got one of those guys. And I don't know what it is. It's solid brass and it is made in Italy. Is this one of those things that John June sells perhaps? I don't know, but there we are. That looks interesting. The blade, it looks like it sits flat in there. That'll be very interesting. Mark, this is amazing. Thank you so much for passing these on to me. Um, I feel, guys, like a custodian of all this stuff that I get on the channel. One day, it will be my turn to pass things on uh, to somebody down the line. Um, but I look after all these razors and I get to shave with them and make videos and share that content with you, which I enjoy very much. But receiving items like this is just, just beyond generous. It's wonderful. Now, this is a mature future. I can tell by the weight, it's much heavier than the Chinese copy that they did uh, going back quite a while now. Um, that'll be interesting to, re to revisit the, ma the mature future. I mean, look at the design on that, guys. That was so out of this world when that came out. It's really well named, calling it the future. Um, and yet that was a long time ago now. Makes you think, hey. We've got, let's go from the other end. We've got a pink handsome. Let's take it apart, see if I can find out which one it is. Nice razor, the handsome, aluminium. A little bit blade forward for me, um, but still not a bad razor at all. I'm trying to see which one this is. This says plus plus, double plus. I can't read that. Something about lot 26 or something. Um, so I'll have to look this up and see. Maybe the plus plus is... Um, a more aggressive version? I don't know. That's a nice touch. Just to protect and secure the base plate and to make sure that that part doesn't scratch up and lose its coating. That's very well done. Yeah, nice razor to hold in the hand. What else have we got here? We've got Well, we've got this very nice looking razor. It looks like an Edwin Jagger, although I can't see any thing that says Edwin Jagger. So maybe it isn't.
it's of that style anyway and do you know what it's very nice that handle looks like one of those roman columns doesn't it that's beautifully done but yeah i wonder where that oh here we go hang on ah the piccadilly shaving company no i've not heard of those either guys I'll have to look that up. That would be really interesting. Now this must be a Parker or a Pearl. This next one. I can tell by these parts on the handle here. That's a twist to open. Very heavy handle. Uh, yeah, it's made in India. I'm just trying to see in the light. I'm not sure if that is a Parker or a Pearl, but I will, I will double check that. Uh, nice razor, nicely. Actually, it's quite nicely balanced, despite the heavy handle. You, you'd think that part would make it really heavy. And I think this part here kind of balances it out nicely. We've got two more guys. Oh. This, I think it is a gunmetal Rockwell 2C. It looks like a 2C because there's only the one plate. And this will be a 3 and a 1 if I remember correctly. Very nice, a three and a one. The, these razors are all in beautiful condition. They've obviously been really well looked after by Mark. So that's another one. And here's my mum again. You might be lucky guys, you might get another wave. Now we've got one more razor left. And there we are, look at that. I don't know 